Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. So this video is my go-to look. My go-to look for just going to the grocery store, going to Ikea, going to Ulta, maybe even going to Sephora or going and just getting me a bite to eat or if I just want to look all beat for that day. This is the look I do. There is no highlighting. There's no strong contour, just a slight contour, you know, nothing too like, you know, overdone a very nude lip to my natural color this color is more like a my lip color but better right okay cake face yum yum so if you want to see how i get my go-to look then keep watching if not go find something else to watch i got cloth diaper videos i got skincare routine videos i got little boy hair routines you can find you something on my channel if not I'll see you later. All right, guys. Keep watching. Bye. So I've moisturized with my Celesto from Lush as well as my Honey Trap on my lips. I've also primed my eyes with Milani. These are the tools for my eyebrows as well as the palette, the Tarte Toilet palette that I'll be using. Here are a couple of brushes. These are mostly e.l.f. brushes and one crown brush. So I'm going right in with the color Dreamer in my Tarte to Lip palette and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids making sure that I blend, blend, blend so there's no harsh lines and I'm just going to keep adding until I reach the intensity of my liking. All right, so I noticed that once I was applying my eyeshadow to this particular eyelid, my eyeshadow started to skip. And now that's because either one, my primer is old, but I do notice that this Milani primer it more so sets like a sticky glue than a nice velvety, good quality eye primer. So if I invest money into anything, definitely it will be a eyeshadow primer. Primer. All right, so I'm going to go in with the color Wandier and I'm going to apply this color between my brow bone and my crease color to help with the transition so that my crease color is not too harsh because I don't want this to be a full blown out smoky eye. I want it to be of a natural everyday look. So definitely you don't just want to go straight from dark to I'm highlighting my brown bow. Hello, ladies, I'm here, my brows, do you see me? But you want to choose a transition color to transition from that crease color in your brow bone. So I'm going to take this color right here, which is called Free Spirit, and this is going to be my highlight for my brow bone or just underneath my eyebrows. Highlighting underneath my eyebrows is going to give me the appearance that I've gotten a lot of sleep when that may be an absolute lie, but that's the whole purpose of highlighting under your brows is to give you a nice clean look or freshly done eyebrows and to just make you look really, really well rested.
So now I'm gonna go into the color Best Friend. Hey, girlfriend. And I'm gonna use this color for my eyelid. This is gonna be my eyelid color. Now the color that's darker than this one is an eggplant color called Bombshell. When I apply this color to my eyelids, it comes off more of a dark black with a purple undertone, which is good for my crease, not for the look that I wanna go for today. So that's the only reason why I'm not using that real deep purplish color because it doesn't come off as that vibrant purple that you think you're gonna get. So I just wanted to let you guys know that when you're trying to get a really nice intensity of a eyeshadow, regardless if it's high end or drugstore, you want to use a patting motion as if you're stamping it into your face, into your eyelids, whereas a sweeping motion where you traditionally see people sweeping the eyeshadow across their face will give you a very light to almost not even existing on your face look. So be aware of that. All right, ladies, so now I'm gonna go in with my Aqua Lilies for Tarte. This is my black gel eyeliner that I absolutely love. Every video, every picture that you guys see me in, I have on this particular eyeliner. Now, if I don't feel like taking my time applying this eyeliner, I'll definitely grab for my e.l.f., which is only a dollar, a buck, one dollar, four quarters. You can't go wrong with that, so just take note of that. Go find you an e.l.f. Liquid liner if you can't get your hands on this. So as you guys can see, I'm using this brush and it's a very tapered angled brush to give me a thinner line. I've tried the e.l.f. angled brush, but because the hairs are a little bit um, thicker or more like wide, I get a thicker line and I like to be able to build my eyeliner up because not all days do I want to look like Kris Kardashian and have this massive black eyeliner so definitely invest in any kind of brush that is very tapered and very thin to give you a perfect precision of your eyeliner So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline New York Pumped Up Colossal Volumizing Mascara. I'm using the color black. I absolutely love putting on mascara. To me, it just finishes my whole eye makeup look. Like, although I have the eyeliner on, I feel like the mascara just makes me look like, hey, honey, I'm home. You know, like just awake and just all yummy and just, yes, perfect. All right, so it's now foundation time, or what I like to call liquid skin. I mean, we can't just have our eyes looking all nice and don't put on our face, which is our foundation. So I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the color Macau. So let me guys know in the comment box what you think about this foundation on me because this is my first time trying this foundation out i got a sample of it from sephora so let me know if it's too dark too light too ashy etc dot 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 you get the picture so i'm going to use my elf stippling brush and i'm doing downward strokes because i have random dry patches and i don't want to go scurveling them about lifting them up by doing circular motion so now i'm going to use my mac studio fix this is the color C7, although I am 
NC45, no tan, NC50 with a nice summer tan. And I'm just gonna lightly dust this all over my face for a all over face powder to set my foundation because that NARS Sheer Glow Foundation do transfer. And what I mean by that, it just, if you touch your face, it's on your fingertips, to your clothes, just everywhere. So you definitely want to set that foundation. So now I'm going to take this e.l.f. contouring and bronzing palette, which is a dupe for the NARS Laguna and Orgasm um, cheek palette. And I noticed that once I started contouring with this, it definitely did like uh, nothing. So I still went ahead and contoured my whole face with it. It did give me that glow and put a very minimum to absolutely sheer contour so if you're my color this palette at least the elf may not suit your needs because i do end up going back in with a darker powder to get the contour that i was trying to achieve So now I'm just taking the blush from this e.l.f. Contouring Blush Palette and I'm just going to sweep that on the top high points of my cheeks, leading it towards my hairline under my temple area to give myself a nice glow. Because my contour was not to my liking, I'm going to use this L'Oreal True Match in the color Coco. Hey Coco! And I'm going to Go back over my contour to carve out my face and for all of my foreheaded people, they got plasma screen size foreheads, okay? You can take your contour up and across your forehead to sculpt your forehead down to a more oval shape versus a dead on square. How you doing, honey? I'm here. Do you see me look? Yeah, I know. So now it's time for blushing. I'm going to use the NARS Matahara color. And this color is like the bomb.com. Okay, I'm just going to take this blush and I'm going to lightly sweep it across my original blush from the e.l.f. palette just to give a more pop of color but in a natural glowing way to look refreshed and all baby doll like for my darker skin tone ladies out there this blush oh my god i'm definitely going to add more of these blushes if you don't want to splurge on a nars blush you can definitely go in with the milani luminoso blush or the Carolina or Carolina blush and get the same results and I'm telling you this blush looks absolutely beautiful on NC45 Mm-hmm. I know all right so I'm gonna take my Rimmel Stay Matte powder and I'm just gonna set this sucker right underneath my eye or in my bag zone just because I did not do a highlighter with a actual concealer or highlighting pen that I normally would do when I really want to make my face look flawless. So this is another alternative just to take a lighter foundation powder or just a lot lighter setting powder and put it in the areas that you want to highlight. So now off to the lips. I have the YSL Rouge Volup Shine and I'm actually going to use the number seven which is a rose color um, and this color is pretty much the same color as my natural lips and that's why I went with this look because I don't have to apply a lip liner I don't have to do anything but just pop this sucker on make my lips all nice and juicy and I am now ready for my day this look was very simple easy you can do this with any eyeshadows, any foundation, any lip products, or a gloss that you have at your house. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the description box. If you like these kind of videos, if you like talk over videos, let me know. 
thumbs the video up or also leave it in the comment box so I'll know if I should do these type of videos with just a music in the background or if you like to hear me ramble about my day so as always thank you guys check me out on instagram it's uh m-a-h-r-i-y-a-h-g all right guys that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys real soon bye